she nuts. Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, um, Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, um, this crazy woman seems to think that she is the very, very, very first action female lead. The ego on this woman. She needs help. Well, or, I already did the welcome, but yeah, um, folks, let's get into this article by my buddy Jacob Smith. Shout out to you at Bounding Into Comics. Jennifer Lawrence is known for her migraine-inducing moronic hot takes. <laughs> yeah, that is true. As well as a few Hunger Games movies, but her recent comments about female-led action franchises may have been her dumbest take to date. Which is saying a lot. Yes, it is. Indeed, it is. I mean, this was by far the worst mystique um, makeup. They made her skin brighter blue. Don't understand why. Anyway, uh, the Hunger Game actress had taken a short break from acting over the last few years. To save democracy! But Lawrence is back with a vengeance. With some statements that are driving cinema fans up the wall. <laughs> Lawrence recently did a sit-down interview with Viola Davis. The star of the uh, slavery-promoting Women King. I put that in, not this article, as you can clearly see. A film that blatantly whitewashes the real-life history of the West African kingdom of Dahomey, one of the most prominent slave-trading states of their era, and attempts to lionize them as anti-colonial heroes who fought against enslavement and oppression. So, yeah. According to History vs. Hollywood, though, <clears throat> the Dahomey... Warriors conducted slave raids and such. Well, we already know all that. I freaking uh, covered all that. But according to Jennifer Lawrence, because of its black female representation, The Woman King is the best movie of 2022. I think that The Woman King is the best movie I've seen this year, hands down. And the best movie I've seen in a long... Or in so long. Yeah. No. I, I refuse to watch that movie. But that comment wasn't the dumbest thing that Lawrence said in the interview. While discussing the Woman King and discuss or and the Hunger Game franchise, Lawrence made the blatantly false claim that Hollywood had ever put a woman in the lead of an action movie before 2012. This isn't a bit. Lawrence, who earlier this year claimed to be a victim of sexism because she was paid $5 million less, $25 million, than Leonardo DiCaprio for the Netflix film Don't Look Up, told Davis, nobody has ever put a woman in the lead of an action movie because it wouldn't work. We were told girls and boys can't both identify with a male lead, but boys cannot identify with a female lead. Why the fuck not? Honestly, I don't understand that statement at all. She continued, and it just makes me so happy that every single time I see a movie come out that just blows through every single one of those beliefs and proves that it is just a lie to keep certain people out of the movies. <laughs> to keep certain people in the same positions that they've always been in. It's just amazing to watch it happen and to watch you at the helm. Where to begin? I mean, this is the perfect response. Uh, the claim that Hollywood didn't have action films with female leads before Katniss Everdeen is so absurd that someone who knows nothing about movie history would pretend it is true. That only somebody, yeah, 
When Lawrence's comments made it its way to or into film Twitter, she was bombarded with replies of people pointing out decades worth of film led action or female led action films. Twitter user Steven Sims, I mean before I get into them, um to name some off the top of my head, let's go over here. Uh Terminator, Aliens, T2, The Long Kiss Goodnight, Resident Evil, Underworld, AVP, uh Electra, Serenity, yeah. These are just from uh Nine off the top of my head that I could think of that took place before 2012 from my own digital library here. But yeah, G.I. Jane is among them as well. So yeah, I forgot to hit G.I. Jane in there. Whoops, sorry. But yeah, he wrote Alien, Aliens. Well, Alien was a horror movie, but. Still had a strong female action lead. Uh, Terminator 1 and 2, Long Kiss Goodnight, Resident Evil, 5 by that. Uh, La Femme Nikita, Kill Bills, Volume 1 and 2. Underworld Franchise, 4 by that time. Charlie's Angels, 1 and 2. Tomb Raider, 1 and 2. V for Vendetta, G.I. Jane, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Cutthroat Island, Salt. I mean, just to name a few, folks. He didn't stop there. He continued. Columbiana, Haywire, <laughs> Hannah, Wanted, Run Lola Run, The Fifth Element, Serenity, Brave, Alien 3, Alien Resurrection, Alien vs. Predator, Alien vs. Predator 2, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, The Descent, Point of No Return, Eon Flux, Bad Girls, Foxy Browns, Death Proof, Sucker Punch, Electra, Coffee, River Wild, Still, he continued, Ultraviolet, Planet Terror, Prometheus, yes, I do believe Prometheus was 2010, Blood Rain, The Brave One, Snow White and the Huntsman, Lady Snowblood, Bandidas, Lady Vengeance, Momentum, Catwoman, Panic Room, Mortal Kombat, holy crap, all these films I've listed are before Hunger Games and Star Women. The cinema soothsayer also debunked Lawrence's narrative with a list of actresses who are best known for their roles in, actor, or in action films. Sigourney we Weaver, Jane Fonda, Gina Davis, Angelina Jolie, Mila Jovovich, Kate, Kate Beckinsale, Charlize Theron. I swear they don't even know the history of their own business, Just, or they just say things, the user added. I mean, to be honest, I've been saying that for a while. They don't know their own cinema history because if they did, they'd stop saying that the LGBTQ representation has not existed before they started putting it in. I mean, that's been around since 1916, but who's counting, right? Codonomics, Actol tweeted, Nobody's ever put a woman in the lead of an action movie. Tell me more about how you've never seen a movie that was made before you became an actor. I mean, seriously. Pam Greer, Sigourney Weaver, Carrie Fisher, Jamie Lee Curtis, Linda Hamilton. Shall I continue? I mean, are these women a joke to you, Jennifer Lawrence? Are they? Because honestly, you really fucked up and you need to be humbled. Variety also deleted that tweet that quoted her on that. David Leavitt, tweeted, Jennifer Lawrence proclaiming she was the first woman to ever be the lead in an action movie. Clearly, she never saw Sigourney Weaver's Alien franchise. Yep, with the loader. Noam Bloom wrote, People like Jennifer Lawrence can't make do with being a gigantic Oscar-winning star. She has to feel like she did something no one else ever did before, and by golly, she will invent something like that, if it's the last thing she does. Tim Young questioned, so is Jennifer Lawrence super dumb or completely ignorant? I absolutely agree with that statement. I believe that she is both super dumb and, ex and completely ignorant. 
Freed Samurai tweeted a list of characters that includes Ripley, Sarah Connor, Princess Leia, Wonder Woman, Furiosa. The user also shared a clip two men or of two men where one states, actors are stupid. People, they're not smart. Few or very few of them are intelligent. And the ones that are intelligent are much, much older. Young actors are, and we know many of them, they are insanely dumb to where it's noticeable. This is beyond noticeable, folks. This is outright in your face. The man then questioned, Have you ever been with someone that's so dumb it's noticeable? When you look at someone else as if, to be in disbelief at what this person is doing. Yeah. Jennifer's recent comments is another footnote in a long list of stupid comments she has made in the last few years. Earlier this year, she threw her own parents under the bus implying they support Nazis because of their conservative political beliefs. She was asked by Variety and Karen Volby if her parents had forgiven her for being a liberal. Well, that's kind of weird. Uh, Lawrence replied, I don't know, I don't really know. When asked if she had forgiven her parents, she answered, yeah, I mean, no. There were certain things in the Trump presidency, there are certain things that happened over the last five years that are unforgivable. And it's been wild. <clears throat> it's wild to disagree on things that you thought you would never, there's no way you're going to disagree on this in 2021, white supremacy attacking the Capitol, Nazis being the bad guys, or just science. I don't know. In October 2020, appearance on a comedian, Heather McMahon's Absolutely Not podcast, Jennifer Lawrence put forth the unfounded claim, when Donald Trump got elected, that just changed everything. This is an impeached president who's broken so many laws and has refused to condemn white supremacy, it, and it feels like there has been a line drawn in the sand. She said, or she added, I don't want to support a president who supports white supremacists. Well, um, we all know that that has been debunked. There are several videos out there, if you have half a brain to research it, that shows that Donald Trump is literally saying we must con Dem, white supremacists, Nazis, neo-Nazis, and all them. But yeah, everybody continues to say he supports them. Um, 2017, Lawrence claimed in an interview that hurricanes were nature's wrathful response to the election of Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, this woman has lost her mind over the last few years. It is proven through science that human activity, the climate change is due to human activity, and we continue to ignore it. And the only voice that we really have is through voting, and we voted, and it was really startling. You're watching these hurricanes now, and it's really hard, while especially while promoting this movie, not to feel Mother Nature's rage or wrath. What do you make of Lawrence's latest baffling comments about female-led action movies? Welcome. My opinion, I think that she is, um, well, it's a blatantly retarded take. Yes, I said retarded. You see, I actually use the original definition, folks. I've pointed that out in a video before. Retarded. To hold back. Or to hinder. And, um, to retard. Well... Jennifer Lawrence is retarded because, well, her life is retarded because of her massive and blatant ignorance, her inflated ego that is so big it's threatening the gravity of the earth with how big of a fucking ego that woman has. Sorry for the F-bomb. But, folks, this is truly shocking that a woman with this much influence is telling a blatant lie that she was basic essentially she is the first action female lead star in Hollywood I would really like to under or to ask Sigourney Weaver Linda Hamilton Kate Beckinsale Mila Jovovich 
uh, many of these women. I would love to talk with them and ask them. Um, do you feel that Jennifer Lawrence needs help? She's literally claiming you guys don't exist. She's saying that none of you did any of your movies before her. So could you guys, I would just like your guys' comments on that. But anyway, folks, that's going to be the video. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think of Jennifer Lawrence's insane comments? Holy crap, man. Uh, also, make sure that you uh, share this video out. Check out these two videos down below. Yeah, wow. Anyway, folks, this has been Orange Chat Reviews. Have a wonderful day, and always remember to stay humble, because we all know Jennifer Lawrence isn't.